I think that this taking a chance to take a course that wasn't required by my major um, really influenced how I've gone about choosing other courses to take throughout, and I will take throughout the rest of my college career. Um, by making me more aware that I shouldn't take courses that are just required. Um, I should take courses about topics that seem interesting to me or topics that I just simply want to learn more about. Uh, for example, next year I'm taking a course through the School of Architecture that's all about activism because that's something that I'm super interested in, even though it's not directly related to my major. Even when I came to CMU, I was interested in interdisciplinary work, but that is if anything increased because of the climate change course and it really set me on the path towards the additional major that I'm now pursuing science technology and public policy. I would say one of my favorite um, parts about the course as a whole was that not only was it led by the professors by Kasha, Peter and James but it was also led by the students. Every week different student leaders would become quote-unquote experts on a certain topic and they would lead smaller groups of students in discussions about topics whether it be um, corporations versus the individual or climate economics or climate policy or different little aspects that all go into the huge issue of climate change. So when I took the course last fall, the guest speakers were Paul Watkinson, who's the lead climate change negotiator for France, and Sinyi Nafo, who is uh, one of Mali's lead climate change negotiators, and he is also the, the spokesman for the African group, which uh, essentially represents uh, a block of African countries in international negotiations. It was pretty incredible to hear from someone who has been in that situation not only negotiating on behalf of his home country, Mali, but an entire uh, coalition of nations. That's an incredible amount of responsibility. And um, it's, it was amazing to be in the same room as him, honestly.